Hi, next uh, we are going to discuss about the butterfly diagram for 8 point uh, radix to DATFFT method. And so now we are going to discuss about the third stage of computation. And uh, the first stage of computation and the second stage of computation that are explained in my previous video. Now let us start the third computational stage. As we are dealing with the 8 point DFT, we have to draw 8 horizontal lines and I will be back to you after drawing 8 parallel lines. Okay, now I have completed 8 parallel lines as we are dealing with the 8 point DFT. Okay, these are the inputs to the third stage of computation. It is taken from the output stage of second stage. Okay, right. Okay, here it is written, the output of second stage of computation, okay. These are the inputs uh, which is uh, taken from the output stage of the second computation stage, okay, right. Now, uh, in order to explain the output equation, let us write the inputs as A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. Now, let us uh, start the butterfly diagram how to draw the butterfly diagram okay first uh, let us uh, start from the first line i mean a a to the fifth line fifth line is e i'm going to write from a towards e okay now let us uh, complete the upward connection also that should be started from e itself okay right E to A. Now complete the uh, put the arrows. This uh, is going upward. This towards right. It's also towards right. Now let us put the gain in H. Flow diagram. Okay. Here we know that the gain should be minus one, and uh, in all other cases the gain equal to one. Okay, right. Now, similarly, let us uh, draw the connection from B to F. Okay, right. B to F. Now, complete the upward connection from F to, of course, B itself. F to B. Okay. Now, uh, put the arrows. This is upward, here it is upward, here it is upward, and here also the gain should be 1. In all other cases, gain is equal to 1. Here also, and here also. Now we forgot to put the phase factor here because we have to multiply it with the phase factor where there is a gain equal to minus 1. Here we have a phase factor that is equal to W n raised to 0. In our case, as we are dealing with 8 point DFT, that should be equal to W 8 raised to 0. Okay, right. Now, what about the phase factor here? Of course, that is equal to W n raised to 1. In our case, that is equal to W 8 raised to 1. Okay. Now uh, let us uh, draw the connection diagram from C to G. Okay. C to G. Now complete the connection from G to C also. From G to okay now put the gain here as minus one and of course the phase factor is equal to w raised to two that is w n raised to two now mark the arrows this is going downward and uh, all other gain that should be equal to one except this one and finally, let us complete the connection from B to H. From B to H. And 
and uh, the upward connection should be from H to D itself. Here put the gain is equal to minus 1 and uh, here the gain is equal to minus 1. You face factor is W8 raised to 3. That is W8 and raised to 3. Then put the arrow marks and the gain in the corresponding branches should be 1. Okay, now let us uh, complete the output equations. So what about this at, at this uh, node? A into 1 into 1, that is A itself, plus this is a summing node, as you know. Okay, now another uh, connection is coming from E, E into W8, W8 raised to 0 into 1, that is equal to W8 raised to 0 into E itself. Okay, right, now what about the equation at this point, that is B into 1 into 1, that is B next plus another connection is from f into w n i mean w 8 raised to 1 that is equal to f to w 8 raised to 1 now this should be c plus another connection is from g g into w 8 raised to 2 g into w 8 raised to 2 and here also d into 1 into 1 that is equal to d plus h into w 8 raised to 3 h into w 8 raised to 3 okay now here we have a connection from a into 1 into 1 that is equal to a itself plus another connection is from directly e e into w e into w 8 raised to 0 into 1 is there okay into minus 1 is there so we have plus into minus 10 that is plus into minus become minus okay e into w 8 raised to 0 okay now here also we should be we should have the minus time let us uh, try to find that here we have a connection from b into 1 into 1 is equal to b now another connection is from f into w8 raised to 1 f into w8 raised to 1 and here it is again multiplied with minus 1 become minus 1 here minus into plus become minus so minus into plus minus f into w8 raised to 1 now uh, here we have a connection from c into 1 into 1 that is c itself plus another connection is from g into w8 g into w8 raised to 2 w8 into minus 1 is there of course that should be sorry that should be c plus into minus becomes minus g w8 raised to 2 and uh, finally here we have a connection from d into 1 into 1 that is equal to d plus that is from h into w8 raised to 3 into minus 1 here also we have plus into minus become minus and h w8 raised to 3 that's all about the third stage of computation in the idf of t radix 2 method and uh, thank you